Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while and you've been a subscriber, check that bell, click that bell and see if it's clicked as all notifications. I've been noticing on some of the channels that I'm subscribed to that the bell will look like it's clicked, but when I click on it, it's like the all notifications is not on. So start checking that with your subscriptions, not just with mine, but others if you're having issues. Um, because I'm like, these videos are not showing up. Why aren't they showing up when I click on subscriptions? I should see more of the people that I'm subscribed to, but I don't. Um, also, of course, the algorithm caters to channels that you watch the most. So those tend to pop up other than ones that you might not watch as frequently. Um, please note that she is casting look, a shadow if I lean this light, but I, I don't have a way of holding that light steady. So you might seem to see some type of shading in her face that doesn't really it's not really there just simply because the you know she's casting shadows but anyway um for those that may not have seen her first video um you know jump definitely take a look back at that um she is my new special baby she's a preemie she's a micro preemie what we consider micro preemie she's 14 inches and I still haven't put her on a scale or me measured her yet. Um, and she's supposed to weigh about three pounds. I think that's pretty accurate as far as the weight for sure. Um, so I am going to attempt to change her clothes. Um, somebody reminded me in the comment section. They was like, I, I don't know if I said in the video that she doesn't have many clothes or something. But they were like, oh, they were like, um... The outfit that she came in was really cute and so she came with this just a blank kit she came with this and um she came with a pacifier a pacifier clip and then she came with a handmade outfit that doesn't really look handmade um and it says happy and she came with some pants too but um also like this the little uh, diaper cover and then a little hat so I am actually gonna put her on this I can't remember which side goes what is the front and what is the back Uh oh I always do this I always never know which way the hat goes I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it going this way okay so anyway oh I don't even know if you guys can see that this is the hat this is the diaper cover, if you guys didn't see, and this is the shirt. And in the video, I said that these were these items were made by Reggie Ann's, but they wasn't. They were actually made by Kathy Eklund, which I don't know if she sells stuff separate because she's an artist, and I don't know if she just did this specially for Jennifer for her edition, the Nori edition, just simply because um, this is a portrait, was a portrait of her, her real daughter. Um, Kathy's so um, I got told that afterwards that the outfits actually did um, remind they reminded me that they were because I was like I think I couldn't remember who she had said in the past who it was by but yeah I was wrong um, so I'm gonna try to put her back in this outfit I think it'll be cute and I'm gonna go ahead and take her hand mitts off um, one of the things I guess I'll talk about, and I know I'm kind of covering the camera, somebody will yell at me for that, but it's kind of awkward sometimes standing here. Um, I'll, t I'll open the window so that natural light will come in and that way it'll maybe help. But, um, one of the things I like to keep talking about with silicone because I, I know that a lot of people are starting to get into it and have their silicone babies is that. You know, a lot of people uh, run, a lot of other collectors run collectors off from silicone, especially those that like reborn artists or, you know, they, they paint reborns. They don't want you to like the silicone because they feel like it's going to take away from, I'm trying to think of which way is the best way. Um, they feel like it's going to take away from you buying the uh the vinyl but i can i can i can promise you guys that a lot of people they start out and they're like um 
I like her with the hair mitts. They start out where when they first some some people when they first get their silicone, they're like, oh my gosh, like they love it, and then they go silicone crazy and they want nothing but silicone. The a lot of people you'll hear a lot of uh, mommies be like, oh I I just put my my reborns away, and I'm laughing because I'm like, oh they'll be back out. Or you'll sell them and then you'll start buying them back. Some people never go back, I won't lie. Um, but, you know, some people get silicone and they hate it and they just don't like it and they don't want it and they don't buy it no more. Um, but let's talk about the ones that do. And then they, they like be over it, over the vinyl. Um, silicone does have a lot to offer. Um, it, it really does. Um, the feel of it is just very skin like and life like um is is very different from you know what we're used to feeling with the vinyl and like i said even though she's you know stiff because of her armatures um she feels so real because actually the armatures just feel like bone like i feel like she's got a bone in her foot like i feel like i can feel the like his skin around the bone it just feels like she, actually she feels even more real with armatures if i be truthful it's um, as far as the feel, I like the flop on babies on the silicone. I love my soft floppy babies. I don't care what nobody say about them flying and flimsing. Um, because also, you know, just as well as they like to say, no baby is that soft and jiggly. Well, no baby is that hard and rigid either as some of the other silicone. So it's to each his own and what you like. But, you know, if you're interested and you're curious into silicone, you know, definitely, you know, take a leap in and see what it's like. Um, I do think the best of both worlds is partial silicones. I was talking about this with um, another collector. I just absolutely hate painting um, partial silicones, so that's why you don't. You probably won't see me with a lot of them. And I know you don't see many people selling them either, probably for the same reason. And now. I don't have a brush in here and I've just messed up these little bit of so-called edges that I did. Um, the hair hasn't been like cut or anything. It's just like long pieces of hair. But anyway, um, the funny thing about this is that we do all this picking and worrying and a lot of stuff you guys can't even see what we see. Um, when I look at the video, look back at the video, it's like I'm just picking at nothing. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, so yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's definitely a personal choice, but I, I love, I love silicone. I love, I love vinyl. I love silicone. I love them both. Um, I know a lot of people end up like saying they, they just want silicone after a while. But the thing about it is the price of silicone is so much more expensive and they're so much harder, especially if you're collecting black dolls, they're so much harder to come by until we end up, um, you know, going back to our vinyl. And then plus, it's so many cute kits come out in vinyl, so we kind of like, we always find a vinyl that we like, and it's like, oh, I gotta have that. Because we, we just, I'm telling you, it's just, it's more of a variety in vinyl than it is in in silicone but um I got all off subject to be honest guys that's not what I was really wanting to say what I was wanting us to talk about is the fact that when you first are new <laughs> her little ball head when you are first new to um is that this wrong does it go this way I don't know which way it go when you first get into silicone, you're so used to, a lot of times we're so used to the, that's wrong, isn't it? What am I doing? Is that wrong? Yeah, that's probably wrong. Okay. I don't know. Wait. Oh, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Um... We're so used to vinyl, and I think vinyl allows a little bit more of perfection. And it's not to say that you can't find perfection in 
silicone because I think some people execute it very well. Um, hold on, you guys can't even see. I think um, some people execute it very well to where it, it still come across as perfection. But um, it's, it's, it's a lot that it's a lot to to uh, actually work with this medium. It's a lot of joy. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think a lot of us, we call stuff normal for silicone and it's not. Um, I, you know, I like to tell people I'm not perfect. You know, I like to tell people, you know, you get my work, you get in my work. This is something that I did my very best. It might not be the best out here, but it's my best. And, you know, if I didn't, if it didn't come across well or it didn't come out well, it wasn't because I didn't try. Um, however, you know, that's my problem, not y'all's. Like, um, but, you know, I'm not going to try to, you know, get rich off of something that I feel like is, you know, not nice or whatever the case may be. But I think I, I think I still price my babies very affordable compared to what the other prices are out here. Um, but <laughs> but the, these dolls are like silicones are not like they're they're not as easy like I said as easy as they look to paint and so you may have some discrepancies um I was looking like at her ankle like and I know people tell me why you do that you point out you know flaws like let me zoom in I'm going to show you her ankle it's not a big deal for me but someone could easily get this doll right and think I'm going to try I'm trying to get it the camera okay 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 there we go someone could easily get this doll right and you look at this ankle right here and I can always go back in and, and, and blush it or whatever. And it's like a little light spot. It's skin tone color, but it's, it's lighter than the rest. What happened was the way that you have it laying, um, the way that you have it laying actually didn't, I didn't pay attention or I missed, I actually missed it like going darker in that area. And so there calls for discoloration in her painting. Um, but a lot of people, something that small, it would set somebody off. Um, this is art, guys. Rather we want to call it art or not. Because I think when we go to, a lot of times people be like, oh, this is not, you know, such and such is not art. Um, whatever. I'm, I'm going to say it's art. Um... I think a lot of times people expect every single thing to be super, super perfect. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Um, especially without, with silicone. Silicone is very tricky. It's, you're painting with a very, um, unforgiving, uh, medium. It's thick. It's, uh, it's a very thick, like, uh, Serpy like thick honey like painting with honey I always use honey as a reference because that's the consistency of it even maybe sometimes you know a little thicker and it's gluey like it's like sticky tacky and you can't touch it and it's just it's a lot that goes on with it you got to get the formulas right you got to mix it right you got to you got to mix the right amount of paint in it you can't you know everything has to be like you know right with silicone you can't miss a beat anything goes wrong you got to be careful what it touch you know what you use what you use in the paint with make sure it's compatible that could cause it not to cure it's like all these different things so and i know i paint probably the most difficult way but that's just the way i learned and i'm you know i just haven't wanted to deviate from from that um so that's the you know I think it would make my life easier if I tried some of the other people ways methods that I, I see and hear other people using but <clears throat> I, I just don't um, I, I just 
do what I, I I started out as doing it and I I've just never deviated from it so um I don't thin out my paints I I paint with that that consistency so it's it's very it might be very challenging my work is not like you know crisp to you know like all smooth out one color I do use like variations on purpose to give it like a very lifelike skin look um but you know um we all do what works for us and that's why I never like try to tip you know teach people how to paint or say you know use this or do this because you know I don't want people coming back to me saying um you know you said and then some people will be like oh I wouldn't do that I wouldn't I wouldn't say this and that and it's like yeah you wouldn't until until it you know it goes wrong and 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 that and then you're gonna be like well I was trying what serenity said and that didn't work and you know I'm just not a teacher person plus I don't want to share my my stuff with people and I, I think I have that right but anyway that's not the point of this video the point of the, the point what I was trying to make is that silicone is not like the most um easy medium so when i get one that come out you know cute and i like it i'd be excited because i know how much it takes to go in it and i think like a lot of people are out here trying to paint silicone now i think they're starting to get that it's not as easy as it as it come across and so i'm i'm actually enjoying it where some people are like feeling like threatened that other people are learning to paint I actually like that people have learned to paint and tried it out because I think they will appreciate the art more. I know it made me appreciate the art more. Um, so I, I actually like it a lot. But um, yeah, so she she's still like I'm. She needs rooting. Her eyebrows need to be, of course, straightened out. Um, I am going to root, take the time to root her fairly quickly than what some might think is fair because she's going to skip the line. But as you can see, I just cannot be doing this, this whole hat thing all the time. And it's, it's aggravating, you know, especially when if the hats don't stay on and be falling off and <laughs> y'all looking at her and y'all calling her bald headed. I can't be dealing with y'all with that oh you know what I had another hat actually that um when I bought some diapers they sent this little uh knitted hat where is it they sent this knitted hat gosh where is it and I thought it looked a little big but I think oh I never got a toothbrush where is oh here it is I don't put this on her. <laughs> I don't really go with this, but and I'm gonna put this and brush her little edges down. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's bugger. Your little two little edges that you got. But yeah, she gotta get here because I ain't gonna be dealing with that. I don't mind her, like her head shape is cute and all that, but I still want, I want her to have hair. I want her to be finished. Um, but yeah, she's super, super cute, super tiny. Um, this is so, I guess cause I got the other diaper on under it even more, but I like that she, they padded it. Cause it's like, look, like give her a cute little balm like type thing. Um, I, I don't know. I really like these babies. Oh, this video is long. I'm going to stop here and I will come back and talk to you guys later.